Prodigy Matthews and welcome to another Prodigy video. What is the difference between the, the old Prodigy epics and the new mythical epics which Prodigy has introduced? Hey, what's going on everyone? Prodigy Matthews and welcome to another Prodigy video. What is the difference between the, the old Prodigy epics and the new mythical epics which Prodigy has introduced? So obviously with this idea, I had to go for it with it and see what is the difference, right? We're gonna be starting off with the mythical epics which have come in game because that will high, would, which will narrow it down quite a lot. So let's go and check it out. Arcturion. Alright, if you look at Arcturion's info, as you guys can see, the air around Arcturion is always cool. This is because the tips of his fur are made from an ice that never melts. And so no matter where he goes, he's always in a comfortable temperature. He's always had a comfortable temperature. And as you guys can see, the element is ice and everything. Now let's check on Ar Arcturus, which is very similar to Arcturion, I think you guys will see. As you guys can see over here, we have Arcturus, and then it says the air around Arcturus is always cold. This is because of the tips of his fur are made from an ice that can never melt. And so, no matter where you see, he's always at a comfortable temperature. So it seems like Prodigy even decided to rip off Arcturus on this. And of course, if you guys look at the power to hearts ratio, as you can see, it looks like maybe 70 to 30 or 80 to 20. And if we check on Arcturion over here, what you guys can see is it's literally the exact same. So now let's look at their differences, right? Let me just. So Arcturion seems to have a shield and a cannon as his hand, which is quite intriguing. While on the other hand, Ar Arcturus, which basically has two fists. That's all. So I guess. So I guess if you guys wanted it for style, Arcturus does look cool, but they both have the exact same stats. The only difference is how they look. And let's just read everything about it. So, of course, we won't get anything in the tax tasks tasks. Setting, but if you go to the about, as you can see, it says Meg Mayhem. While traveling underground, Meg Mayhem can sense movement on the surface, so he knows exactly where to appear and get the biggest scare out of whoever enters Bonfire's fire. And then for its stats, we can see it has um, 8,160 hearts at level 98, and its element is fire. On top of that, if you go to info, as you guys can see, they can cast the spell Volcano, Wildfire, Ion Cannon, and spherical crush and furthermore if you look at its stats it seems like it has a power to hearts ratio of 90 to 10. now let's take a look at our almighty meg meg mischief right if you look at meg mischief the first thing which we notice is well number one it's a heart to power ratio is the exact same now let's look at the description when traveling underground meg mischief can sense the movement on the surface so he knows exactly where to appear to get the biggest skill out of those who have entered Bonfire Spire. You know, this over here, this Meg Mayhem stuff, it's sounding very, very similar to what Meg May... This Meg Mischief stuff is sounding very similar to Meg Mayhem. But Meg Mischief came first. So basically, Prodigy just copied the description and stats of Meg Mayhem. Let's see, hopefully, maybe they have different spells. Who knows? Okay, so we have Meg Mayhem over here, and if you check out Meg Mayhem's info, Yep, it's the exact same spells. Okay, they don't seem to be casting different spells. It seems that Meg Mayhem is a bigger version of Meg Mischief. Has some flames on its head. Some basically, Meg Mayhem is a better redrawn version of Meg Mischief, and well, I guess it does look nicer. But other than that, the only difference might be just that they look different. That's all. I don't know if their health has some any differences in it. But other than that, so far, Meg Mayhem and Meg Mischief are exactly the same. That's all. Basically, the new mythical epics which have been added in game are extremely similar, but a better version, I dare to say, of the old epics in Prodigy. Meaning, if you're like, oh no, I haven't gotten the old epics, well, don't worry. These new epics are actually, they look better, one. Two, they sometimes have better stats, and three, they usually have the same descriptions of the other pets. The only thing which would be different would be their attack animation, and if you ask me, both of their attack animations are pretty cool, although I do not like Meg Mayhem's because he doesn't cast any fire, he just strikes the ground which causes fire to come from the sky. Right, that's really all, but if you guys ask me, I'd say all of the epics look pretty cool and you guys should... If you don't have any epics, well, you guys can take this membership to, like, get the epics, because it's not too bad. You guys would be able to get yourself three epics for just one month. I mean, you could buy for a month and then... And yeah, guys, so that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do make sure to smash that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, and give this video a humongous thumbs up. If you guys haven't already, I will be catching you all next time. 
one Dr. Genius out the house. Bye and have a good time. I hope you guys found this video informational and figured out what the differences between the new and old epics might be.